overall, I wanted to go for something that is healthy, you know, 100% healthy for the hair, but also is um, luxurious. So, hey guys, you know I'm looking hella ratchet right now, but <clears throat> in this video, I am basically debuting um, a surprise that I basically haven't been talking about at all. And I've just been working behind the scenes and basically today I'm going to let you guys know a little bit about what I've been focusing on in, within the past couple of months and where my focus has been. I've gotten <clears throat> my hair at this point. So if you guys didn't know, I'm really passionate about women starting their own businesses. And this all started in 2020 when the pandemic hit and I was pregnant with my first kid, Zane. And so I was formerly a hairstylist. And so during that time, <clears throat> all of the salons shut down. So I didn't have a job. And as you know, if you are not cutting hair, you're not getting paid. Like it's not one of those jobs where you get like so many benefits, this, that, and third. No, it's like more like cash. <laughs> do what you do the right things with your cash and move forward. So basically when 2020 hit, I didn't really have a job anymore and um, <clears throat> I pivoted my beauty business online and started drop shipping items from, you know, all over the world. And I just started selling items on my online business. And then I kind of wanted to branch out and give women the opportunity to start their own businesses. You know, I thought that that was something that really just needed to be put out into the world, which is why I um, created Laptop Mommies. <clears throat> and I'm going to leave the link for Laptop Mommies below too, just in case there's any more women out there that are watching this video that want to start their own business. Just know that everything is possible and just take it day by day. You know what I'm saying? Um, take it day by day um, and just focus on your dream, I would say. Focus on the dream um, more than you focus on the cash or how much you expect this and that and the third you know I would say focus on the bigger picture because that ultimately is what creates a life-changing product whenever we're just thinking about you know the compensation we're gonna get for something or something of that sort we are not putting as much passion into it as something that we are actually like interested in so that's why I'm saying like I would discover a dream and follow that um, and just see where it takes you, you know, and and just, yeah, see where it takes you. Um, but anyways, like I said, um, I decided to help women um, launch their own businesses. And now I'm back in the field because I feel like I put that out into the world and, you know, whoever needs help with that could get help with that. And now I was just ba going back into my roots and just going back into my, my deepest passion. And basically the, the things that I have fallen in love with before any of this, before I moved to California, before I had kids, before, before everything, I was really honestly always in love with beauty and doing your hair and getting dressed up and taking care of your skin and makeup and stuff like that. So because I'm all about the science of the hair, like it's more than just like beauty once you get to a certain point, once you get into once you go to school for it and everything, it, it turns into a science, honestly, when it comes to hair coloring, when it comes to cutting the hair. So um, I'm really big on blogs and informational blogs about skincare and beauty and stuff like that. So I am going to be basically shooting you guys all of that on the email list. So go and hop on the email list. I'm going to be leaving a link below. And I'm really, really excited. Like this is something that I am so excited to launch because I feel like this is something that has been so deeply rooted in me. It's almost like a dream coming true, you know, because it's something that I've always dreamed of doing, but I just ha didn't know that I would actually be doing it. And as I started doing it and as I started creating it, I just started like falling more and more in love with it. Like it's literally kept me up at night. Like I've never had a, a passion keep me up at night and I want to do it. I want to. So the best part about this whole journey um, was literally everything. The thing is, because I went to beauty school, um, as I started to make these products, I started to recall a lot of the information that they've given me in the textbooks that I thought was honestly useless. Like, 
oh, this is a surfactant. This is what makes this. This is what this is made out of. Like I, in beauty school, I was literally like, okay, like why do we have to know what this ingredient is or any of this stuff? Why can't we just know like how to style, how to cut, that's it. And as I'm like going deeper and deeper into my hair journey, I'm so grateful that I know what those things are because as I was creating these products, um, these words were not unfamiliar to me. So it was a little bit easier for and quicker for me to cultivate these products and it's really, really, really awesome. Overall, I wanted to go for something that is healthy, you know, 100% healthy for the hair, but also is um, luxurious as well. Like I, I hate how just because we're being organic, like it doesn't, it's not allowed to have like a scent or a taste or something. So I went for more natural, luxury type of items that are good for, you know, all types, all different hair types, honestly. And I'm really excited to show you guys um, a sneak peek of what I have because I have a lot of stuff that I've made, but I just want to debut one product as of right now. Um, this is what I have here. This is my scalp oil. I've literally had long hair before. I've literally had short hair before, but I've never like stretched the limits as to how healthy and long I can get my hair. I always end up chopping it at a certain limit or feeling like it's too much to deal with or I don't know what really happens. Or maybe it's too fried or maybe somebody's chopped it off on me because you know how you go and get some haircuts sometimes and somebody just does you dirty. My hair has been getting so long as well as using hair oil. I cultivated this um, to nourish your scalp and also help to grow your hair. So the ingredients that I put in here are to help that happen. I put rosemary oil in it and a bunch of other different oils and it honestly smells so good. Like you guys are literally going to love it. And so basically what I use this as is like an in-between nourishing treatment and it also smells like a perfume. So it makes your hair smell like super super good if you just want to have like a freshened up vibe and i know like for my curly and wavy girl wavy hair girls we like don't wash our hair every day like that's something that we just don't do and so there's times where you want to like freshen up your curls and like have a have, have and feel and look fresh without having to wash your hair you know what i'm saying because it's all wet and damp and this and that and honestly don't mind my hair right now because like i didn't even brush it today so but I will say that ever since, and I'm gonna be putting up a before and after of these pictures. I'm literally going to go crazy on this journey. There are my children. Yes, I am in the bathroom recording because I have kids. Okay, so um, what was I saying? Uh, I'll be putting up a before and after of my hair, but ever since I've been using this, ever since I've cultivated this oil um, and looked up like, you know, I literally researched every single ingredient to make sure that it was the right ingredient for the scalp, what would be the best thing to put in it. So, this has jojoba oil in it, it has rosemary oil, it has tea tree oil if you have flaky scalp. Um, that's really, really good. Um, and it has a bunch of other great stuff in it. Um, if you guys want to check out the products more, like the description of it and what the ingredients are, definitely go ahead and check out the link below where it will lead you to our email list, our store, and our blogs where we carry more information about this hair oil. So basically, as I was saying, I just use this like in between, like I just use it in between my wash days. I don't really, tr unless I have curly hair that day, like if my hair is wavy right, right now, and then I get out the shower and I'm gonna wear my hair curly that day, I will use this. If I'm going to literally get out the shower and straighten my hair, like blow dry and straighten it, I'm not gonna use this. I will use this after the first two days of my hair because i like my hair to be like that silky fresh not too oiled up even though this is honestly really lightweight but like the way that i like my blow dries are like very lightweight and voluminous like i like a lot of volume and then i can't have too much oil on the scalp because my hair is already i would say like combination because my scalp is kind of dry but then my hair does produce oil and i know like curly girl hairs curly girls i don't know why i keep saying curly girl hairs curly girls will understand, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, this is basically what I use in my in-between days. And what I do is, um, even if it's like curly like right now, and like I'm having a little bit of like tension in my headache, I will literally go ahead and open this up and legitimately 
put it all over my scalp. It's so soothing. The ingredients in this literally soothe your scalp. So even if you have an irritated scalp or it's like itchy, um, definitely use this oil. And you know that rosemary oil, which I put in here, I infused rosemary and a bunch of other oils together. Um, rosemary oil actually helps you to um, grow your hair. It grows your hair, it helps your hair follicle, it helps you gain more hair follicles and just help your hair grow at a rapid rate. It's scientifically proven. And that is why, <laughs> you can hear Micah, he's literally jumping around playing. Um, that is why I use this in my hair. Like as I'm putting it in my hair, I'm just like, oh yes, it feels so good. So yeah, guys, like honestly, my hair used to be dry AF, dude. Like it's not so, yes. Um, definitely go check out my Instagrams and my TikToks where I use this hair oil more. I use this at nighttime, and I also use this if I'm going to go out and put my hair in braids, like if I do two, two braids. It's overall just a good moisture-holding oil, and it's also just like a good massaging, soothing oil, and it smells really, really good. So definitely check out my hair oil at AnayaEssentials.com, and if you want to start your own business and like start something for yourself, then go and check out my Laptop Mommy's School where I have all these courses that teach you how to do this for yourself because honestly, this is a dream come true for me. And it took, you know, just focus for me to understand like, okay, it's not gonna take that much to get this done. It's just gonna take for me to literally focus. And so that's what I did. And at this point, I am so happy. And the journey has been so much fun. I've been like just, I'm blocking this door. The journey has been so much fun. I just feel like I've been just reaching back into my roots and just feeling amazing about it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I know that everybody has a dream. And what's so funny about this is that um, in my email, I had written that I did want to do this for myself when I was younger. So, like, never underestimate your dreams that you have when you're a child. You know? Like, those are, like, the most truest form of you. And if you lose that, then doesn't that mean that you kind of lose a part of yourself and a part of like your innocence and a part of like your most purest form? Because like we're not, we're never going to be as pure as when we are with ch children, you know? So like write down your dreams and manifest them and make them happen. Like it's possible for you. Even if you start off small, it doesn't have to be my kids. It doesn't have to be crazy and you know don't put too much I wouldn't say don't put too much pressure on yourself because I put a lot of pressure on myself <laughs> that's just me though but yeah I hope this video was a little bit more inspirational stay tuned for me to drop my next product because this is not just it this is just the first product and when we are all on our hair care journey together growing our hair super long we're gonna be so fucking happy like literally Literally, literally. <sighs> okay.